Hello, I am Dr. Farah Ingle, Senior Consultant Physician Diabetologist and Director Internal Medicine, Portis Hiranandani Hospital, Varshi, Navi, Mumbai. Today, I would be talking on influenza fever. Now, influenza fever is a name given to a viral acute respiratory viral illness caused by influenza virus. There are four types of influenza viruses, A, B, C, and D, out of which A and B is seen in humans and are responsible for epidemics, the globe over, and is also called as seasonal influenza. Now, we had been of late seeing lots and lots of patients coming with influenza fever of different strains like H1N1, H3N2, H1N2. These patients have even coexisting COVID infection. These days we are seeing them and this combination of influenza and COVID, actually they have a grave prognosis. Now this influenza virus is transmitted, infection is transmitted from one person to another through air. When an infected person coughs or spits, then the virus gets transmitted from one person to another in the form of respiratory or droplets. It's a droplet infection. Here, patient complains of fever, sore throat, nasal congestion, nasal blockage, and cough, and also breathlessness. Now, cough may be productive or non-productive. This fever is accompanied by severe muscle weakness, lethargic feeling, and uh, this usually lasts for about three to four days. And then on the third or fourth day, in fact, the cough becomes more intense. In most of the patients, this gets passed out as a milder infection. But in some of them, especially in very young children, in infants and in adults with comorbidities or elderly people, influenza can become a serious problem. Patients even have died because of this infection, because of influenza virus. In some of the cases, influenza becomes a serious illness, which could be in the form of pneumonias or because of respiratory failure, where patient even requires to be put on ventilator. The treatment for this is to start on antiviral, that is oseltamivir, which is commonly used, and it should be started at the very earliest. The earlier you start the treatment, the best is the result or the outcome. The response is good and also encourage patients to have good nutrition. When you are not well, your body requires good nutrition, good hydration, rest and proper sleep. Because in sleep, your body recuperates. If you follow this, you will get better early. Thank you.